Hi, it's Drake Griggs with Obsidian Wisdom. Today we answer the question, what are the seven benefits of estate planning? Oftentimes when we talk about estate planning, I feel like it's important to say wealth transfer. Like estate planning is wealth transfer. If you are trying to build generational wealth, then you must have an estate plan in place. And today we'll go over seven of the benefits of estate planning. Number one is a client can reduce or eliminate any potential estate tax. When it comes to paying an estate tax, the number is set, it's about like 13 million currently. And as long as you have underneath that, then you're usually able to transfer all of your wealth without having to worry about the estate tax, or as many of us refer to as the death tax. Now, for the majority of people, they do not have to worry about this death tax because their estate that they're passing over is less than that. But that doesn't mean that you could not put an effective plan in place for your wealth transfer. And that leads us into number two, which is you can make effective wealth transfers at life or at death. Most of us think about transferring our wealth at death, where we're going to say, okay, I'm going to have a will in place and I'm going to give everything away to my certain children or my pet or, or a charity or something like that. But you actually have the ability to transfer some wealth every single year without it being taxed. That is called the gift tax. Now I have another video where I'll put in the link where I share some strategies to be able to transfer your wealth without paying taxes on it. Currently, the gift exclusion amount is at $17,000 in 2023. So that means you could give $17,000. And if you're married, that means you and your spouse could each give $17,000 and you wouldn't have to worry about paying any gift tax on that. And so you could do that each year as some people do. And I'll put a link to another video where I talk about some of the benefits of a trust, but you're able to put your assets in a trust and then you could pay yourself from the trust. You could pay your children from the trust. You can give to your heirs. You can have the remainder is what we call it, where it goes to a charity. There's so many ways to design a trust where you can have an effective way to transfer your wealth without it being caught up in probate, without you having to pay these extra taxes and all this confusion. And some of these strategies allow you the privacy of transferring your asset, where it's not a part of public records because it was dealt with in a court where you'll see people talk about like Andrew Nicole Smith or like Bob Marley's estate. We often have these records that we can just look at and uh, we read about it, we talk about it. Now, another benefit of taking advantage of the annual gift exclusion when you transfer some of your wealth while you're alive is you get to see what your heirs do with it. So you get to share in some of that joy. Whether you take trips with them or pay off the debt or help them start a business, whatever you help them do with that gift exclusion, you're able to see the benefit. They're able to thank you for it. And it's kind of a nice difference where it's nice to be able to leave that generational wealth. We can, we can go with peace of mind knowing that we set up our next generations in a great way. That is something that a lot of people often overlook, but when we talk about it, they're like, that's really a great experience. I would love to be able to experience that while I'm still alive. Number three on our list is you can arrange for an effective business succession, which is just how am I giving my business from me to my children, my next generation? How are we going to set this up? They can pay you for the business and then you can give it to them without having to pay those gift taxes. You could also have them pay you the rest of your life if you put your business in a trust and then they pay you like an annuity payment every single month out of it. There are so many ways that you can set up your business succession. And if you have a business, then that means that you would need a wealth transfer strategy in place. Unfortunately, about 60% of people who have a business and are retiring, they just close their business. They don't have a wealth transfer strategy in place. They have no business succession plan in place and the business just goes away. But if you have the proper strategies in place where you're talking to your kids and everybody knows their role and how it's going to work, then the business can keep going. Your legacy can live on. Number four, estate planning gives you the ability to plan for your incapacity, right? If we end up with a long-term care issue where maybe we have Alzheimer's or we have dementia or something like that, where people feel like we're maybe being taken advantage of. If we already have the plan in place, then we already know what to do. It's not our kids arguing over what to do with our money or the business. No one can give you medicine that if you were in your right mindset, you would have declined. But because you're not, they just ask your children and your children don't have the same views as you. But I will say it's not always where someone will be purposely doing something where they're asking the doctor to do something that maybe you would say no to, or they know that you would say no to. Sometimes they have no idea that you have certain beliefs and certain feelings about things. And when you put an incapacity plan in place, it lays everything out. And it's a really nice document that a lot of people overlook. So who's going to take care of the finances? How does the doctor take care of you if you go in? Where do you want to get your treatment at? All these things can be a part of your incapacity plan. And it becomes very beneficial to make sure you're taken care of, even if you're not able to take care of yourself as well as you used to. Number five is estate planning can often help us avoid probate, where everybody's not fighting in court. We're not having these arguments where people aren't saying awful things to each other and it splits our family up. For most of you, when it comes to building generational wealth, you want to make sure that your children and your family stays together, where they don't just take it and split it three, five ways, but they're able to work together to do something great, something better than they would have been able to do alone. So oftentimes, if you have an estate plan in place, then there is no reason for people to go to court and argue to say that I was the favorite or, or you never visited mom or, or you never answered the phone for dad. However, the argument and the nastiness would look. 
if you have a plan in place, then you normally can skip the delays because I don't know if you know, but if you end up going to a probate judge, they have to give everyone a notice. So everyone has to have the right to say yes or no, I'm okay with this. I'm not okay with this. And then they get to argue and make their defense. People are spending money on lawyers and you can be in court for decades. I'm fairly certain that Bob Marley's estate is still being fought over in court. I'm fairly certain that Prince's estate, Michael Jackson's estate, that people are still fighting over these estates. If you have a proper estate plan in place, there's less to fight over. It keeps the family together. Everybody's not trying to figure out what your wishes were. And you keep it updated pretty regularly. You don't want to transfer wealth to a spouse that you're no longer married to or kids that aren't 18 yet. There, there's so many things that you want to keep track of when it comes to transferring your wealth that will get you stuck in probate. But we want to make sure that we can avoid all those in a proper estate plan or wealth transfer plan. We'll ensure that your heirs are not sitting in court saying nasty things about each other, stealing from each other, or backbiting. But your family gets to focus on celebrating your life and just next steps as far as administering your final wishes. The sixth benefit of estate planning is you get to pass your properties to the people that you want to. Whoever it is that you love, if you want to give them your dog or your cat, if you want to give them your house or your cars, you get to decide that. It's already written in the document. Nobody's going to argue. There won't be a judge that's going to be like, well, they didn't really say, so I'm going to give it to this person. They may not like all of your decision, but there is no arguing in front of a judge over it. This is your estate plan. It's administered and we move on. And that leads us nicely into the seventh and final benefit of estate planning. It just gives you peace of mind. It is nice to know that everything is taken care of. It's often the same benefit that we felt when we got our life insurance. We knew that if something happened to us, that our spouse and our children would be fine. They wouldn't have to move if we died unexpectedly. It's the same benefit you have of having disability insurance where you know if something happened to you, that you would be able to keep getting your paycheck even if you weren't able to work. That is the same idea with estate planning. We know that there may be some unexpected things that happen, but even if it does happen, we will already have the plan in place. Whether it's my health care and incapacity planning, whether it's passing on my assets, or whether it's limiting my tax bill, or setting up my next generations with financial freedom, I have the peace of mind of knowing that I put the plan in place, and this estate and wealth transfer plan is perfectly set up to achieve whatever my financial goals are. Is often the benefit when we think of Batman, right? He's a superhero. He doesn't have any superpowers. And yet, more times than not, people feel Batman could beat Superman, that he could beat most of these people with superpowers. And the reason is because Batman has a lot of contingency plans. He has set up for a lot of different variables, and as a result, he gives himself the best opportunity to win. While a lot of other people, they just lean on their special talents and they hope everything's going to go okay. They don't think anything's going to happen unexpectedly. Batman's one of those people that hopes for the best, but plans for the worst. And that's what estate planning is supposed to be. We hope for the best, but we plan for the worst. We know that everything is in place so that if something happens and I literally lose my voice and can't say anything, I can point to the document and say, this is what needs to be done. Where they know who to call, where my kids are going to go, where my pets are going to go, where my wealth is going to go. Everybody knows. If you found value in this video, I simply ask for you to like and subscribe so you can continue receiving valuable information on how to solve generational wealth through strategic retirement planning. Until next time, stay safe and enjoy life.